In this screencast I'll show you how to calculate vapour liquid equilibrium for a non-associating system using PC SAFT. So in this first worksheet I've got all the parameters that I'm going to need to do the calculation. So we've got the temperature that is set for the system, we've got an initial guess for the pressure, we've got the mole fraction for the liquid phase, so this is just what is being set for this particular problem. We've got an initial guess for the vapour phase mole fraction and then we've got fugacity coefficients that have been worked out for us and these have come from these separate sheets here. So this is very much like the, um, the a previous video where, you, where I showed you how to calculate fugacity coefficients using partial derivatives and so you can go back and look at that one if you want more details on how these work. These also calculate the pressures and this is done for the liquid phase and for the vapour phase. Things like the packing fraction, the temperature feed through from the first sheet, so if those change, they change also on, on these sheets calculating the fugacity coefficients. And then the pressure and the fugacity coefficients get fed back to this sheet here. Now the packing fraction is given here in this table and these feed forward into these worksheets. So this is the basic setup and we make a, a calculation of what the mole fraction should be in the vapour phase by having the ratio of the fugacity coefficients multiplied by the mole fraction in the liquid phase. Now because these might not always add up to 1, they can then get scaled so that they do add up to 1. And this gives us an improved estimate for the vapour phase mole fraction. And then we need to follow through this iterative process until the values converge. It'd be really nice if we could put this into solver and just get a solution to this problem, but the problem is highly nonlinear uh, and solver really struggles just to solve this straight off um, unless you put lots of extra constraints in. And yep, so I'll show you how to solve this just by going through uh, this this iterative process. So the first step is to vary these packing fractions in order to make these pressures match the pressure that we've got for the system. Now the initial values have been taken from this reference here which suggests a value of 0.5 for a liquid phase when you're trying to iterate to get to a set pressure and a value of 10 to the minus 10 for a vapour phase when you're trying to iterate to get to a, a particular pressure. And I've developed, uh, written a macro that will do this for us. So if we click run, it just does goal seek to vary these values until the pressures go to the right value. So that's the first step. Now we've got some improved values here for the calculated and scaled uh, values of yi. So I'm going to paste those in. Just paste the values in. And that's improved things. Uh, but we've still, still not got a value of 1 here. So what we can do is if we multiply that value by this, we need to put the pressure up in order to bring that value down to 1. And it just so happens to work out that we can copy and paste that value into there. And it will help to improve things. And then we can go through this cycle again. So we'll go back to step 1, which is to vary these packing fractions so that these pressures get updated to the system pressure and actually if I just press Control s that will update those and that's the shortcut for, for the macro that I've written and then the next step is to copy and paste these into here so these calculated scale values have now gone into there and we can update the pressure And we'll just keep going until the values converge. This is still not very close to 1, so we'll have to go round a, a few more times. So I'm going to press Control s Control s and that has updated the pressures here to match what's been shown there. And then these have now improved, so we can paste those in and the pressure still needs to be tweaked so we'll paste that value in 
control s again to update these pressures to the new system pressure copy and paste these in and update the system pressure paste in, in the value and then control s and I think now you can see that we've converged to some values where these are getting very close to these and not very varying much uh, uh, and overall that the problem has, has converged and so we can sort of sort of then now compare this to what we got for Peng Robinson in a previous video so if we just put these side by side these are the Peng Robinson results and these are the more fractions that we obtained so you can see they're not a million miles away and these are the pressures so this is in megapascals here and this is in pascals you so you can see they're not a million miles away from each other they are there's a little bit of difference but then it is different uh, equations of state being used but it, it just shows you um, that, that there is some similarity so overall that's been a video showing how you can calculate vapor liquid equilibrium uh, using the PC saft uh, equation of state